And on the latter point, the digital currency, um, we have set up a task force and we will uh, accelerate the effort of this task force, drawing on the resources of the entire euro system, meaning the national central banks that already participate in that research, uh, that have already committed to the project in terms of, of um, experimentation, uh, pilots here and there. So harnessing on all those experiments that have taken place and all the research that has already put into this effort, together with the work that has been done here also. We will, um, I think we're trying to do that by mid-2020. We will identify, number one, the purpose that we, that we have with that. Are we trying to reduce cost? Are we trying to um, um, cut out the middleman? Uh, are we trying to um, have inclusive finance at, all co at no cost? Then we will identify the technicalities of it all. Uh, which, is, which is not a given, particularly when you talk about a euro system. And I think that there is also great interest outside um, our regional area. Um, I know, for instance, that uh, Canada, the UK, uh, certainly uh, other countries way beyond are also looking very uh, deeply into that to see if it makes sense, what purpose it serves, and how we can best deliver on it. My personal conviction is that given the, the developments we are seeing, not so much in the Bitcoin segment, but in the stablecoins projects, and we only know of one at the moment, but there are others uh, being, being explored and underway at the moment, we'd better be ahead of the curve if that happens, because there is clearly a demand out there that we have to respond to.